Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Now, this is my RST Adventure textile kit after a winter's worth of riding. Pretty flipping yucky. Now, if you stick around and stay tuned, I'm going to show you the two main ways of getting your textile kit clean, ready for another season's riding. Okay, so as I say, there are two main ways to go about getting your uh, textile kit cleaned. Uh, the first one I'll show you is the easier, quicker, but slightly more risky way. And then the second way is perhaps a more reliable way. So let's show you the first way first of all. Angel cake, got something for you. Can you clean this for me? Do it yourself, you lazy bag. So if uh, method number one fails, you've got no choice but to... Uh, take matters into your own hands and do it yourself. I did say it was a bit more risky doing that method. Uh, so first things first, you basically just got to take all the linings and all the protection out of the jacket. So in the case of the RST Adventure, uh, there are all sorts of connectors holding it in place. And it's both the uh, thermal lining and the waterproof lining that you need to get out. Right, you can just get rid of the liners, you don't need to worry about those. Because this is the bit that we're going to clean. Right, bingo. So I've now just got a naked outer shell of the jacket. Right, next you have to venture into this little room. This is somewhere that I very, very rarely come into. Not really my domain, as you can imagine. And uh, basically what you should really do, if you're following by the letter, is read the instructions on the garment itself. Uh, which you always find inside and this actually says in the case of the RST is that you should hand wash it in warm water well I can't be doing with all that so uh, at your own risk I'm not saying this is what you should do this is just what I do I basically just stuff it down into this thing down here this thing's called a washing machine right now this really is where the magic happens basically you open the door on the front you stuff the item in question which is my jacket into said machine you select just a very uh, a program that gives it a very low heat. So I'm just going to stick it on mixed fabrics and put it onto 30 degrees, no more than 30 degrees. That's all that's required. In this little drawer here, you pop in what's called a washing tablet. This is a personal one. Other brands are available. And then you switch it on. And that really is all there is to it. The machine just looks after the rest. It's absolutely brilliant. Now, what you can do, if you want to be really clever, is you can add like a waterproofing agent, something like a knit wax, and stick that into the little magic drawer as well, just to give it an extra layer of waterproofing. I don't bother because it has a waterproof uh, inner on it anyway. Uh, and the other thing to remember is uh, make sure you choose a nice day. You might have noticed I'm wearing shorts. It's a hot day here today because uh, I'm going to hang this out on the line afterwards uh, and just to let it sort of dry in the natural air. That's the key. You don't want to be doing this on a damp day. All right, an hour later, job done. Turn her off. All I'll do now, hang it outside in the sunshine to drip dry. Beautiful. And there we go, that's it. Just uh, leave it here in the bright sunshine for a couple of hours. It's almost dry actually as it comes out of the washing machine, but it looks as good as new, ready for another season. Do exactly the same with the trousers and you're good to go for next year. So there we have it, that's, uh, that's all I do with my textile kit. I do the same with all the kit. Uh, they've all got slightly different instructions on them. This isn't what RST would say to do with your kit, but it works for me. I've done this for a few years and uh, it lasts me for a whole season with just the one wash. So uh, there we are, I hope that's been of uh, some interest to you. Bit of a fun video really, but uh, as it was such a lovely day, I thought it was a good opportunity to get these cleaned. All right, I look forward to speaking to you next time. Until then, this has been the Mr. Dunfly. Cheerio.